What is going on everyone? Tim from Tierfon Orbital. So today's demo video is going to be for the Jawas Junkyard Bright Star, this monster of a hilt. Okay, so I have done an install on these prior to this video, um, but I do want to come into Fusion and talk about the chassis. It's the same chassis uh, on this install as I have done in previous ones, but we all are going to come into Fusion and talk about the design a little bit. And then of course we will come up top, do the whole thing, right? We'll put a blade in it and then we will be on our way. So with all of that out of the way, let's come into Fusion and talk about this chassis. All right, we're jumping right into it. So here it is, the chassis for the Jawas Junkyard Bright Star. So not a lot of room in this grip. This is a relatively thin grip. I think there's only like 24 millimeters on the inside of this guy. Uh, a little bit more than that. Maybe it's like 26, just over 26. Still, not a heck of a lot of room, and it is not very long, right? So I was able to stack a board and a battery. Not stack, but they are on top of one another. Uh, however, where this chassis marries up into the hilt, uh, the edge of the upper section of the hilt stops right here. So almost three-quarter, or almost uh, two-thirds, sorry, Almost a third of the board is covered by the upper lip of the hilt. Now, with that being said, there's still plenty of room to pop the profi board up and get it your USB and SD card if need be, right? So we'll start at the bottom, even though I started at the top there. Let's start at the bottom. This particular build has a 22 millimeter Nano Elite speaker from Smuggler's Outpost. I cannot speak highly enough of these speakers that I get from Albert over at Smuggler's Outpost. I think they are great. They perform fantastically. So this has a fully enclosed 22 millimeter speaker in it, okay, at the bottom. Making our way up at the spine here, there is a single red button tactile switch. This is what the plunger on the grip makes a connection to, right? So this is a single button setup. The trough here along the spine, I just put in there for a, just an abalone strip. So there is a decorative abalone strip here just to make it look a little bit more classy. This is a classier looking hilt. It is a very, very gnarly looking hilt. Like it's, it's very unique looking hilt, but I did feel it as though it needed some sort of like elegance to it, right? So the chassis has that blue abalone strip in it. Gre uh, greebly work on both sides of the chassis. And then of course there is a kill switch up here as well. All right, this very, very thin nipple is what makes a connection to the upper part of the hilt. Now, uh, there was no set screw to help secure this chassis in place. And given where that, because the upper part of the hilt kind of has this overhanging lip, there's no spot to put a set screw here. And that piece of the hilt has to be screwed in for everything to be uh, mounted correctly, right? So. With that being said, this chassis is held in place with E6000, right? That's what I chose to go with for this one rather than drilling uh, a set screw. Well, I wouldn't have been able to put a set screw up here anyway, right? Because there's threads in that section. And that's it, right? So let's come up top. Okay. So here it is, the Bright Star from Jawa's Junkyard. I am completely forget. I think this is from Vader Immortal. I think this hilt design... Somebody yell at me in the comments if I'm wrong about that. Uh, but a very, very unique hilt design from Jawa's Junkyard. Okay. Uh, so super, super cool looking hilt. Really interesting emitter up here with these tines or these poking utensils. I, I really like it. This, this would be great for roasting marshmallows probably. Don't do that with this hilt. So anyhow, um, up top there is a, this is not really a blade plug. It's kind of like a decorative uh, gem that is affixed to the upper part of the emitter with magnets. Okay, so it's kind of like a, I guess you could kind of call that a blade plug up there. It's not coming out on camera. But this piece right here just kind of pops out with a magnet. And that's it, right? There is a single plunger switch here. This is not, doesn't have a spring in it. Right, but it is uh, just like a plunger switch, and this is what make this is what makes a connection to that red button on the inside of the hilt. Okay, so let's talk about the chassis. So to get at your chassis, you want to unthread this grip. Now, because this switch is not spring loaded, I like to keep the switch in the down position. That way, gravity is helping that 
plunger to stay off the chassis so it doesn't get caught up on the chassis. So I point that switch down and just unthread the top of the hilt, right? And then we can take the grip off. So there's that abalone strip along the spine. Uh, Gravely work here. I did do a pass of pewter rub and buff on this. Pewter and black rub and buff. And then I did paint some of these accents a little bit just to kind of make things pop. But that is it. And there's our battery tray. So let's get a battery. So Springside is your negative in this build. So that is down towards the speaker. So take the flat part of your battery or the negative side of your battery. Put that in the battery tray. So this was already on. If you don't hear anything, you can hit that kill switch. All right. So to the customer, you did send me a very specific font package to go with this one. So I did load those on this config as well as some of the other stock profi board fonts on this as well. Right. So once you get your battery in, you can put your grip back on. So the same, same routine. I just kind of thread the upper part of the hilt rather than the grip. Okay. And then that switch will make a connection to that red button on the chassis. Okay. So this is like a Sauron font from Lord of the Rings. It's a super long prion. Wow. Probably officially the longest prion I've ever heard, right? And that's it. So let's come down to the bottom. All right, so there it is in all its glory. Will it fit in frame? Yeah. So this is a Balrog font. All right. Let's put a blade in it. Okay, so this is a super shallow blade holder, obviously, right? Uh, but it will take a seven eighths inch blade. So rest your blade on those PCB pins. And then there are set screws here. Uh, I have put one set screw in for this demo and you just want to tighten that set screw to hug your blade. Okay. And then you're ready to go. <laughs> this thing's big. So this being a single button profi build to scroll through your fonts, you want a long press of this switch and release while the blade is pointed up. Okay. To go back in your fonts, you want to hold it down and do the same thing. Okay. You gotta watch out for my fan in this one. This is a big, it's a big hill. Okay, let's do one more. All right, let's do one more. So that is it. That is the Bright Star from Jawa's Junkyard. Super unique looking hilt. Very large hilt too. As are most <laughs> hilts that come from Leon over at Jawa's Junkyard. But a very beautiful hilt nonetheless, right? So, so to the customer, thank you very much for trusting me with your install and for your patience. If anyone has any questions about this, this particular install, please don't be a stranger. And with that being said, may the force be with you always. Have a good one, everybody.